Hello again. In this video, I'd like to show how to protect a power supply to charge batteries. So this is a power supply that I built. And there are two parts of the power supply. One is for supplying voltage to a low. And the other part is for charging the battery. Uh, this is the part that produces power to the low. And this is the part to charge battery. And in this particular power supply, uh, it's 25 amp and 25 volt, uh, numerically adjustable. And in order to protect it, I need to put some kind of diode to charge the battery so that the battery voltage won't flow back into the power supply and cause uh, unnecessary damage or spark. This is a conventional uh, diode, a Sharky diode. It has a high uh, voltage drop and it generates much, much too much heat for it to do the job. So I need to find an ideal diode. Ideal diode are the diode that has very low uh, voltage drop. This is a 10 amp ideal diode and this is a 15 amp ideal diode. But what I need is a uh, 25 amp. And uh, it's not easy to find an ideal diode that could charge down to uh, 3 volts. Uh, because it needs a certain uh, voltage to drive the uh, MOSFET. And so these are the only two that I could find uh, commercially available uh, that could charge down to 3 volt. Uh, there are new diodes that come out, uh, but those diodes uh, does not have a ground and it also have a, a soft tube kind of profile to uh, to uh, function as a diode, so I prefer not to use them. So this is the diode, 10M, and this is the uh, IC that drive the diode, and this is the MOSFET in the diode, and this is the 15M, uh, this is the IC to drive the diode, and this is the uh, MOSFET, two of them. There are two MOSFET to to drive that diode. And these are the characteristics of the uh, diodes. And this is 5.5 milliohm. Uh, the resistance from the drain to the source. And this is uh, 12 milliohm. Uh, so these are good diode, but these are rated currents and you could never get to the rated current. It generally uh, much too much heat and the dial is not going to last if you drive it to a rated current. So I decided to uh, make a 25 amp and using the same uh, controller, ideal dial IC, but replacing the MOSFET with a couple of MOSFET that is higher performing than this. So this MOSFET IPD 042P03 uh, have VDSS to uh, 30 volts and I only need 25 volts but it could run to 25 uh, it could run to 20, 28 volts I'm sorry and the RDS is uh, 6.8 uh, ohm and these are the other characteristics of uh, the MOSFET that I'm not going to go through with them one by one so <coughs> The changes are pretty simple. Uh, this is the original uh, 15 amp, and I just modify the two MOSFETs and added a uh, pretty uh, good heat sink. These are the heat sink that I modify, and I added a couple of uh, 10 ohm resistors to uh, to equalize the two MOSFET slightly in terms of uh, start timing. And this is the actual testing of the uh, of the data. Uh, the vertical axis is the voltage drop millivolt 
so 100 millivolt all the way to 700 millivolt and the horizontal axis is the current that goes through uh, the dial uh, 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 25 is uh, what I need and this open circle is the 10 amp ideal dial and the open circle I tested from 1 amp to uh, 8 amps, 1 amp to 8 amps. Uh, the voltage drop is uh, pretty high at the low amperage region and get beyond 8 amps uh, the dial just won't handle it because it is very small and it generates uh, quite a bit of heat. And the triangle is the original 15 amp. Uh, the triangle uh, it has pretty low uh, voltage drop, about 20 millivolt at 1 amp, and it climbs up to uh, maybe about 140 millivolt when it gets to uh, 8 amps. And I don't feel comfortable to charge it, uh, to drive it higher than 8 amps because, again, it's getting uh, quite hot. And this is the modified ideal dial, and it go all the way to 25 amps. And the voltage drop is about 330 millivolt. It's still much less than the uh, Shaki dial. Uh, this is charging a single cell, and charging a single cell is about 3.65 volt. So charging single cells is a tougher job than charging a battery uh, because of the uh, uh, VGS. The VGS is the gate to source voltage of the uh, MOSFET. So when I charge a battery which is uh, 13 volts or higher, this is the battery performance and the voltage drop is much lower and the curve fitting is here so now I could use a pretty simple modification to uh, protect the power supply to charge a battery or a cell at high current and this is what it looked like inside the charger and inside the charger and this is the ideal dial I modify and uh, heat sink is underneath the uh, ideal dial and there's a fan coming up from the power supply and also an exhaust fan uh, sucking the hot air out so it works uh, very well and uh, the next video I hope to do uh, an in-depth uh, explanation of the do-it-yourself power supply and charger Thank you for watching. Have a good day.